2013 marks 100 years since Banana Bunchy Top was first found in Australia. Back then, it nearly wiped out the industry. It is one of the most devastating of diseases affecting bananas, and to fight it, the National Banana Bunchy Top Project is underway, funded by the Australian Banana Industry and the Australian Government. David Peasley is manager of the project. Bunchy Top is in northern New South Wales and southeast Queensland, and we've got it under control in commercial plantations. The problem now is that we're getting infection from backyarders and hobby farms, and we really do need community support to get it under control. We want to eradicate Bunchy Top from Australia, and we must control it in backyards to do that. There are only two ways that Bunchy Top is spread. First, by aphids that can fly long distances and infect other plants. Second, by transplanting infected suckers or young banana plants. So why is it so devastating? The disease affects the growth of the banana plant, usually stopping a bunch from forming or at least producing a bunch with little fruit at all. And it is often hard to identify, as most people just think their plants need better care or more fertiliser. And here we have a classic advanced symptom of bunchy top where the, the leaves are very bunched and the new leaves are very, much shorter than the older ones. So that's a classic bunchy top advanced symptom. That's easy to pick up. Where it gets difficult is a plant like this where we have a new leaf coming out which is perfectly normal to look at and that's where it gets difficult and that's why we need professionally trained inspectors to find the disease. This plant is actually infected. We have teams of professional inspectors looking for bunchy top throughout New South Wales and South East Queensland. They're walking through all the plantations looking for bunchy top. One of them is Sam Stringer. Sam, how, what do you look for when you're finding bunchy top? Uh, well, what we look at is the newest leaves. Um, with bunchy top, they get quite short and narrow and stand more upright, and each new leaf does the same thing. Um, we also look here, we've got some pale um, edges which curl upwards. Um, but the definite symptoms are these dark green streaks up the midrib and also dark dot dash lines through the leaves and you can see those when you're looking through the bottom of the leaf up to the sun. The infected plants don't ever recover from bunchy top um, so they need to be destroyed but also it's really important that we control the spread of the aphids. Um, so what we do is we inject the plants with a systemic insecticide to control those aphids and we also inject with a glyphosate solution and that will destroy the plants. Um, we also do use a biopest oil which is a non-toxic -to substance. Uh, we spray that into the throat of the, throat of the plants um, and that will just help um, control those aphids. It's really important that you don't share your banana plants with others as it is not only illegal but you could spread the disease unknowingly. People do need a permit to plant bananas, but these are easily obtained from local authorities. Call the Bunchy Top hotline for more advice. The biggest threat to eradicating Bunchy Top from Australia and protecting our banana industry is the threat from backyard banana plants and backyard growers and hobby farmers. So we urgently seek your support to report any suspect plants so that they can be eradicated promptly. There will be no penalties. We just want to know where these plants are so we can eradicate them. With your help we can protect the future of Australia's banana industry and the livelihood of Australian banana growers. We need community support to help combat this terrible disease bunchy top. If you or your neighbours think you may have a suspect plant, please call the bunchy top hotline. The banana bunchy top hotline is 1800 068 371. The Banana Bunchy Top National Project is funded by Horticulture Australia Limited from the Banana Industry Levy with matched Australian Government contributions. Project supporters are the Queensland Department of Agriculture, Fisheries and Forestry and the New South Wales Department of Primary Industries.